Looking back at 2023 for sustainable investing, it's been a mixed year. On the social side, you've had the um, rise of weight loss drugs from Nova Nordisk and Eli Lilly giving outsized returns to some parts of the market. You've also had the AI, AI trade and the Magnificent Seven in the US who have led indexes. On the environmental side, you've had the energy transition which has struggled with short-term factors such as interest rate rises, the cost of living crisis, meaning less people want to buy electric vehicles right now, and supply chain issues. So on the whole, this year has been about being diversified because each opportunity is done slightly better at different times. It's about being active and at TAM that means when a long-term theme which we're invested in because it will lead to a sustainable world becomes under pressure, it means we can perhaps buy a little bit more of it at lower valuations or take advantage of a new fund launch in that space so we can access it when it's cheap and hold on to it as it inevitably grows with the transition to a sustainable world. And we've already seen this in the last couple of months where we've had short-term confidence being lost in the energy transition and circular economy through these macro trends and headwinds start to recover because you've had the resilient policy of governments come through such as the Inflation Reduction Act in the US and the EU Green Deal giving these companies, giving them stimulus in order to create these solutions for these long-term environmental issues. And funds have responded. They've, we've seen double-digit returns in some of the funds that we invest in on the environmental side. And going into 2024, we're invested across a spectrum of environmental and social opportunities. And we're looking to see these type of themes continue and grow throughout the next year and beyond.